Today's lesson is on solving polynomial equations. But before we get started, I have a question for you. Why was the math book so sad? Because it has so many problems. <laughs> okay, on to our lesson. When solving polynomial equations, first you want to move everything to one side, then try to factor and lastly, use the zero product property to solve. Let's see if we can follow those steps with example one. Okay, when we move everything to one side, we want to put it um, in descending powers. So I'm going to put the 25x squared next. And the 40 is our constant term. Make sure when you move stuff over, you remember to change the sign because you do the opposite operation. Okay, now I'm looking to see if there's a GCF that can come out across. Also, I would try to factor by grouping, um, but I can already tell that that's not going to work. So I'm going to go straight in for synthetic division. My possibles would be the factors of 40 over the factors of 3. So let's see. That would be uh, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, and 40 over 1 and 3. And remember, we want every possible combination. So that's 1. All of these are just over 1. And then I also need all of those numbers over 3. And hopefully we don't have to check this far, but these are all the possibilities. Okay, um, let's go ahead. I always like to start with 1. And remember, we grab those coefficients. Let's move that over a little bit. So I'm going to start with 1, and I have 3, negative 25, 58, negative 40. Double check those numbers. Okay, good. You hate to get a problem wrong because you wrote the numbers down. Oops. The numbers down incorrectly. Oh, that's not going to work. I can see that already. I'm going to try negative 1, and hopefully that'll work. Negative 3 at, ooh, I can see already that's not going to work. I'm going to try 2. This is getting interesting. So with 2, let's see, 3, negative 25, 58, negative 40. Is that negative 19, negative 30? Oh, that's promising. Yeah, there we go. Got one. Ha-ha, <laughs> caught one. Okay, so now remember when we get down to 3, that's a quadratic. So that quadratic is 3x squared minus 19x plus 20 equals, uh, well, at this point, let's make sure we're all clear with what's going on. This gives me x minus 2, and this gives me 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. So what I want to do at this point, because remember now, our goal is to solve the equation, and we're going to use the zero product property. So here, x minus 2 equals 0. And here I have 3x squared minus 19x plus 20 equals 0. But I want to try to factor that further. So I'm going to try a diamond. And I've got to multiply here, and I get a positive 60, negative 19, uh, what's that, 15 and 4, both negative to get that positive, that negative. That's the split. Remember, if A is not 1, you're not done. And now we can easily factor by grouping. And 
and a negative 4 comes out. And so we have 3x minus 4, x minus 5. Yeah, so that's really good right here. This did factor further. So that's uh, 3x minus 4, x minus 5. And using our zero product property, we can come up with all of our solutions. Here I have 2, here I have 5, and here I have 4 thirds. So we see we have three solutions. I always like to go back and double check. And the degree of the original polynomial was three, so I feel pretty good about that. Okay, um, let's go on and try another example. This says to solve. So the first thing, we already have everything on one side. Now we're gonna try to factor. I see I have a GCF of 2x to the fourth power, which leaves me with x squared minus 11x plus 30. Okay, and I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that that factors. And it does, negative on both. So I have 2x to the fourth, x minus 5, x minus 6. And now using the zero product property, I could have just divided the two away in the very beginning since this is an equation. And that would have been just fine. So here, notice dividing the two off, it's gone already and x equals zero. Um, because technically that's just x times x times x times x equals zero. And you could use the zero product property and we're, gonna learn that when a solution repeats, that means something. So this actually repeats four times. And when we start to graph in our next lesson, we're gonna see that this has multiplicity four, and that's gonna be a big deal, okay? Um, here we have x equals five, and here we have x equals six. So while it appears that we only have three solutions, this one repeated four times. So that's really four, five, six solutions, and that does match the degree. We'll talk a lot more about multiplicity. All righty, moving on to example three. Now here, first step, we move everything to one side, and we're looking for a GCF. There isn't one. I notice we have the difference of cubes. So if we take the cube root here, we have 2x got cubed. And here I can see 1 got cubed. All righty. So that's our a and b. And hopefully you're all um, very comfortable with this formula by now. and able to apply it. So for this problem, I have 2x minus one. I'm gonna square the 2x, and I'm gonna multiply them together, a times b. And then I'm gonna square one. And remember, a and b are always positive. So now I'm looking at 2x minus one, 4x squared, don't forget to distribute that square, plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. So now, I would normally try a diamond, but I can tell you right now, that diamond is not going to work. There's no two numbers that are going to make that work. So, what should I do? Hmm... Well, first of all, let me tackle the easy part. I see that x equals 1 half is one of my solutions. But now, we're going to have to 
come up with another strategy for this quadratic that's left since it won't factor. And I'm just going to go to the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we're going to simplify that as best we can. So now we're looking at <clears throat> negative 12. Okay, hopefully you remember how to simplify that. So that gives us uh, negative 2 plus or minus 2i radical 3 over 8. And we see that our three magic numbers are all divisible by 2. So we're looking at negative 1 plus or minus 1i radical 3 over 4. So we now can count our solutions. That's 1, 2, 3. You have to count one solution for the plus and one for the minus. So that's three solutions, and our original degree was 3. Okay, example Four, we have a part A and B. Write a quadratic equation that has the solutions x equals negative 3 and 2. So now I want to make sure you feel comfortable working backwards. Um, if three, negative 3 is a solution, then the factor must be x plus 3. Notice the opposite sign. And now we can just foil that together. First, outer, inner, last. Combining like terms. And there's a quadratic that has those solutions. Let's look here. We have going opposite. Going opposite. Make sure you notice that I'm setting these equal to zero. If you don't put an equal sign, then you don't have an equation, and it's not even solvable. Um, I don't really like dealing with fractions, so I like to just move the 2 over, the denominator over. It gives you the same solution. So I'm looking at first, outer, inner, last. And we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals 0. And that would be a great equation that would give those two solutions. Alrighty, let's look at example last, which happens to be example 5. Now we're going to write a quartic equation. And remember, quartic um, has degree 4. Okay, so... If 0 is a solution, that means it's just x minus 0. We don't do the minus 0 part. Now I'm going minus 4. Now we have the plus and the minus sign here. So we're going to do both over here. So we have the opposite of both. Now, don't forget your equal sign. You're going to take these two at a time, so that's x squared minus 4x. And when we do these, we get first outer, inner, and last. So let's see. Um, x squared, outer and inner cancel, minus 5. Now I'm going to... Foil those together. First is x to the fourth. Outer is a minus 5x squared. Inner is a minus 4x cubed plus 20x equals 0. Um, that's pretty good, but it should be in order from highest power to lowest power. We call that descending powers. Now this is a quartic that has those four 